What's up everybody? Prefix Wiz coming at you with another Unity tutorial. So today we're going to talk about my bad, I forgot what we were going to talk about. But today we're going to talk about Unity tips and tricks and using the vector 2 with random.range and that starts right now. Double digit thousands. <laughs> All right, let's open up Unity. Okay, before we get started, I'd like to go ahead and give a shout out to the person that gave me this information on over on our Twitch community. Uh, Geek, I appreciate all that you've uh, done so far and all that you're going to do. Again, I appreciate it. If you go ahead and uh, create a C-sharp script, and we'll just call this vector random. At the moment, I'm running 2018.1.2, and uh, so you might have Visual Studio. So that's what we'll be running now instead of Mono Develop. Okay, so before this information, you would probably do it this way, where you would have three public floats. You would have the outcome. This is the number that you're looking for or you're going to use. But the number that you're going to use is going to be based on this random range. So a number or a float that's going to be a minimum and a float that's going to be the maximum. All right, and you would write it something like this. All right, let's go ahead and save that. and Let's go back into Unity here. All right, so let's go ahead and create an empty game object just so we can place it on there. And let's go ahead and put that script on that empty game object. Here, So we have a outcome min and an outcome max. And we also have the outcome. Which, so let's just say our minimum is going to be zero and our maximum will be 10. All right, so if we were to hit play, you will see the outcome is the random between these two numbers. So the outcome is 3.1. So another way to write this, which may look a little cleaner and a little bit more efficient, Okay, so going back into the script, a different way to write this may be to write a vector 2. And we're changing the variable name from outcome minimum and outcome maximum, the two different variables, to just one outcome range in a vector 2. And within this, we're going to get our outcome still from random.range, but inside, we change the outcome range.x for the min and outcome range.y for the second number. And now we'll go back into Unity, and this will display a little bit differently. We'll have the outcome range x and y. x will be your minimum, so we'll leave that at zero. y will be your maximum. We'll go ahead and bring that to 10, and we'll go ahead and hit play. And we get the outcome result the same way we did using three variables instead of two. Once again, it's just tips and tricks to help you uh, further your project to make it a little bit more cleaner, a little bit more neat. thought it was pretty cool that somebody showed me that, and then I wanted to share it with you guys. Also, I started a Twitch channel, and we're over there having fun and doing community things. If you guys want to come over and join us, that's awesome as well. As always, if you like this video, hit that like button. And in either case, subscribe.